Hey guys, so I'm making um, a quick pasta for lunch and this is something that uh, my husband grew up eating. It's just his grandmother's recipe. So I have some uh, smoked mm -hmm. sausage, some pasta. Ideally it would have been like a small one, like a penne or something, but that's all I have. Onion, some sauerkraut, um, some caraway seed, and I have some cabbage. What I think would have been cool if I just put the onion and the garlic in the my mini food processor, but I really don't want to clean that. The onion. And uh, do you chop your garlic? I found this so much easier. You just peel it and you just grate it. So that's what I'm going to really grate it. And for the sauerkraut, so <laughs> I'm not a big fan of sauerkraut. And um, I remember the first time I had it, so sour, and it was just kind of like it's a flavor they do. So what she would do, his grandmother would be, she would use the canned one, so that's what I'm using, and uh, she would wash it. Yeah, she'll run it under water, wash it, and uh, then in her pasta. So <laughs> I will follow grandma's recipe. Sauerkraut. And uh, what's not in the recipe is some fresh cabbage, but I'm going to add this. I have this in my fridge, and I figured why not add it to the pasta. Much all my ingredients prepped. I just sliced a sausage. I only used two because it's just cloth and I for, for lunch. But you can make this meal really stretch for a family of four or six. Maybe add the whole cabbage and maybe four sausage links and do like a whole pound of pasta and it will be a really nice and inexpensive meal so now on to the uh, pasta i'm going to cook this in my instant my pasta i broke it usually i put way less water like barely any water in the instant pot to cook pasta but just in case i needed some uh, pasta water to thin out uh the pasta or to kind of just make it a little saucy. I'll go on and i will put this on eight minutes on a pressure cook um the bag usually says 10 to 12 minutes on this pasta just read the bag i usually put it two minutes less than what it says because of uh, because we're cooking it in the instant pot so and then you can check it and if it needs two more minutes you can do that i'm this going to the do the pasta i use those are amazing i love them they are great if you just want to toss them in some garlic and oil and pepper or just um they're a parfidel and I mean I just like that. So I added the cabbage and the garlic. loads of black pepper and just a little bit of salt because sausage is salty and so the I added the sauerkraut and the caraway seed it smells really good okay you should totally give this a taste let's just make sure all the flavor is good it's a little salt or more pepper um, I'm thinking of adding some red pepper flakes to this. Wait until yeah. so, like right before Did we end. It's it. really good. I just wanted to add a little more black pepper and a little pinch of salt. I mean, for anybody that's really afraid to have sauerkraut, you should cook it. Try it in this dish. For me, totally change how I feel about it after having it this way. But then I also love kimchi, so not that far away from okay, each other. So my pasta is done. I added a little bit of olive oil on top of it. I turned my stove back on and now we mix, mix, mix.
guys, so uh, we are having breakfast for dinner, and uh, I am going to make some pancakes, some flaxseed, chia seed, and adding this yogurt. Uh, it's actually lime yogurt. Some sausage, eggs, and some blackberries. I have a cup and a half. Yeah, a cup and a half of flour in here. Some flax seeds, some chia seeds, some baking powder. Now I'm going to add my one egg and my yogurt. I actually got this great price. So I just mix everything up beforehand before I add the wet stuff. And I'm not making a lot, so just a little bit of pancake for me. I love pancakes, especially love the one with ricotta and um, a little lemon zest uh, that's actually why i'm really looking forward to having it with the lime yogurt here's everything in i'm going to um help the yogurt with some water you could add milk if you wanted to but i'm just going to add water so i forgot to add the vanilla also looks like i needed a bigger bowl i'm really hoping i can make this work this is the pancake batter it's a little thick, but I'm going to let it rest a little bit while I uh, prep everything else. I mean, I don't really know what's there to prep. It's breakfast. I found for dinner. two little tiny potatoes that I've chopped, half an onion, and also some frozen peppers that have seen better days, actually. So I'm going to saute that. So I added the potatoes and now some black pepper. I'm going to add some garlic salt. <laughs> some garlic salt. I'll add that simmer. I'll just cover it. Just flip the pancakes, they look really good. Eggs went in, and if you're curious about the Beyond Meat breakfast sausage, this is what they look like out the box. And I forgot to say that I've also added some green onions to the potatoes. And dinner. I'm making pinto beans with some chorizo and this is what I have two clove of garlic half an onion some I found some sad celery fridge, some carrots one can of pinto bean you can use the dry one but you know you have to cook it longer and all that but I had a can and uh, I love those roasted corn uh, I got it from really Trader Good. They're already seasoned, so that's going in there. And uh, we're having that with rice and some uh, lettuce on top, kind of like a, a bean and rice. Bowl. We're having it with guacamole, and I'm going to add cilantro and lime zest and lime juice with the rice. So that should be fun. Also, if you have tortilla chips, it would be have any. So guys, I'm using cumin seed for this instead of ground cumin. I just love cumin seed a lot in beans. And uh, if you haven't tried it, you should definitely do that. Okay, I'm also cooking everything in the Instant Pot. I told you guys I have a love and a hate relationship with that thing. So I'm going to saute everything first. And then I'll switch it to the slow cook. Until, you know, this. So I'm using half a log of the chorizo. I think I should turn this down a little. I put all the veggies in like a good pinch of cumin seed. Just let it go. It smells so good already. Much better, no more smoke on the camera. 
the, oh here you go again. Added the beans and the garlic. I thought that this is going to be so much food for just the two of us. So I'm adding some chicken broth. Um, if you don't have broth, just add some uh, water and uh, some chicken bouillon. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to turn the slow cooker option on and let that go for about four hours. I mean, we eat at six, so it's two o'clock, so that's just perfect. Okay, I've changed my mind. We're having the beans with some cheese, jalapenos, tomatoes, and pistachios.